Hey guys, it is Road Tarnold. You guys know the event, so let's just get to heavy ass lifting. Brought us to 70 to 83. 300, then put two 15s. No. It's, it's 260 to start. Yeah, so it's a 25 on here. That, and a 25 on there, yeah. that's 50, 270 to 80 to that's 310, and then two tens but here. But that's, that's not going to be lopsided. No, just, just add 20, 20, 20. I think 20, that's good. Because if we do 25, 25 there, then it'll be different in that corner, so it'll still be a bit lopsided. 340, that'll be there. <laughs> Come on, Tom. One and done, Tom. Come on. Away we go. Come on. It's not easy, Tom. Oh, that's tired. Oh. You alright? I'll try one more. Just. Where are you picking up? In the middle. Excuse me. You might need to adjust your feet on the ground. You're better, Come on, Tom. So that's where I'm going. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. 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 Right. Yeah, I just... My body's just crumbled. Oh. You want to drop it down? We've got to take it back up anyway. Yeah, I'll, I'll, give me two minutes or so. Just, just two minutes. You wanted to drop it down a little bit. No, just give me two minutes and I'll try again. Yeah. See the witches. When it comes to your training sessions and you see that Tom, for example, is not really into it, mm. what's your kind of best approach towards that? It's a difficult one. Um, I think because because of first and foremost, Tom and I are brothers, so the brotherly love will probably come in and, and want to kind of make sure he's okay, make sure he's, you know, everything's okay mentally, you know, because I think a lot of the time it's not Tom's physicality that's letting him down, it's his, the mental aspect of it, you know, if it's been a busy day, if it's been, so like last week, um, you know, when Tom had a bit of a bad week, a bad session, there was a lot of stuff going on, it's like something like his car broke down, he was at a funeral, um, you know, Strength Academy was really busy, the day-to-day -day stuff in here was really busy, you know, applications coming in, so there's a lot of stuff that, that kind of affects Tom mentally and then he can't like kind of cope with it so it's difficult because we get the most out of each other when we're both firing on all cylinders you know when we're both like pushing each other when we're both um driving so even though I had a really good session like everything felt good I think having Tom there to push and drive each other on I always have a better session you can feel the energy isn't 
the same. You know, when when we're both vibing, when we're both like like there together, like that energy is really electric and very like powerful. Uh, you, you've seen Tom at his best and worst. What's your kind of advice, I guess, as an older brother? Um, I think with Tom now, he's uh, it's it's so I'm so happy now as a like an older brother. I'm ten years older than Tom, as everyone probably knows. But from now, from this time, compared to like five years ago, I'd have to advise Tom and say, you know, Tom, maybe try this, do this, do that. But now with all the work that Tom's done, Tom's like spoken to psychologists. He's he knows the templates. He knows how his mind works. He knows like what he should be doing, what he shouldn't be doing, and. This is what we've we've kind of learnt over this last week that in the busier times. So my advice would be, Tom, don't worry about like the mundane office tasks. You know, I can do those type of things. I can come in, sort the bills, sort the kind of emails out, sort the inquiries out with you, and you just do you. You chill. Come in when you can. Um, and my advice to Tom would be this: be just be the strongest man in the world. That's all you have to do. So whatever. Whatever that takes, you're the only person in the last, I, for, however many years, to to know what that takes. You know, you're the two times world strongest man. So me trying to advise you as a non world strongest man how to become world strongest man would be doing Tom an injustice. So do what you did last year, do what you did the year before, and we'll take care of everything else. That's all I would say. What's the difference between this workout and then uh, last week? I'm gonna complete this workout. <laughs> this week I feel better mentally and physically and I will not be feeling any event this week. And what events are we doing today? Oh shit. <laughs> uh, we got, we've added I think two more, so we're doing log, dumbbell, frame, finger fingers, sandbag throw. I think a loading or or shield carry, I can't remember, and stones. Big one. Big one. Yeah. We need to get the stones back in, because I haven't hit stones in like a year. You're going to do one motion or two ten? <laughs> no. <laughs> breathe in. Take a breath in. And breathe out. He swallowed. What did he do? Yeah. Why you been sick? Tom doesn't like you touching him, mate. <laughs> What's happened, Tom? I just feeling pain in my cocks. I was, like, I think it's because the heavy week we've had. You know, I did good deadlift session, good press session. Squats last night was one of the best sessions I've had in a while. You know, hitting up to 300 on a safety bar. Then coming in today, I've had lower back pumps the last week, but after that logging dumbbell, it's a bit sore, but hey ho, we're strong men, eh? So let's get on with it. Get this lifted and then, this will probably be the most painful one because it's so low time to pick up. But I think after that, we're all good, so. Yeah. Are you running with it? Yeah, let's just see if I can pick it up first. What are we going up to now? Um, so we're doing 320 this week. Um, just see how that feels. So the pickups are feeling nice. So again with uh, the Arnold frame carry, it's 
I don't know what it is. It's not that, it's not like a huge distance to carry it, but we just need, we've been doing like a lot of additional grip work, um, like kettlebell punches, bar hangs, one arm hangs, um, really trying to get these little paws like Mark Felix, so hopefully, um, you know, Cam Arnold's, it'll be a noticeable difference from last year, that's the, that's the thinking. Get up, Tom, come on. All day, Tom, keep going. Keep going, Tom, come on. Come on. Hold that in. Find that, Tom. Hold, Tom. How's that? Get me a beer. How'd I look? Really good, yeah. No problem for having a grip and everything was really good, so um, struggling a little bit. <laughs> that was so slow that pickup. Usually I'd let go. I felt like I was picking up for like 20 seconds. Jeez. And I was going like at a few years. Yeah. It's good to hold that the last. I'm right when I'm standing up, it's just pressure when I'm walking. Oh we on. Did, any, did anyone know what Tom just said? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Come on! Go on, Luke! Hold! Hold! How was that? Frame done. That was hell. Now we do, um, what's it called? Yoke, yoke push. <laughs> what's that for? Conan's wheel. Wheel of pain. I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> How was it? Um, a slow pickup. Um, but again, I think Tom, as Tom says, it's been a, in prep you notice it when it's heavier, obviously, but like, there's weeks where it's like noticeably like, okay, now it's kind of switching on, and I think this week, this week has been that week for both Tom and I, so, um, yeah, it's good, it's nice, it's, uh, you know, by the time you get to Friday, like Tom's lower back, his coccyx is really sore, I'm feeling my patella, my shoulder's a little bit niggly, um, but that's how we should be feeling, isn't it? Yeah, Is that not right, champ? Yes, Too sir. damn, champ, to me. Uh, but yeah, it's just nice to be feeling like we're shifting some weight, which is really good. I don't know if he feels good. <laughs> trying to be motivating and stuff. Yeah, right? That was a few more. Yeah, man. I need more. I need more. What is this concoction? What is this? 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 Yeah, buddy. Refuel, refuel your ambition. You forget it's fizzy. Huh? Yeah. Whoa! He's <laughs> <laughs> never done that before, boys. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Come on, man. Go! Come 
Come on, go, come on. Push top, push, push, push. Come on. Keep going, Tom. Over the line, come on. Keep going. Huh? Someone call a doctor because I'm spicy. How do I feel? Good. Too heavy, too light? It's a bit uh, slidey in here, but it's good. Do you want to keep my weight? Nah, let's do one more. Yeah. Just put our 25 on just to see. Yeah, that looked too easy for you guys. Like, come on, come on, look. Push, come on, come on. There you go, come on. There you go. Good, there you go. Take it back now. There you go. There you go. Bam. Come on. That's it. Keep going. There you go. Come on. Push. Come on. You're close. Working out what shoes is right as well. So, um, I switched to. Metcons. Um, it's just the sloppiness, that's all it is. It's nothing, um, it's not heavy, it's just annoying when it's slipping every time. But very good. Well, and I thought I kind of like these kind of events, I think. My levers help as well. And yeah, I just, I really learned to kind of block out the pain in my legs and just the harder it gets, the faster I go. So. Uh, it's hard in here, you know, you're slipping around. I used to think that, you know, when I get lactic acid in my legs, it would be game over for me, but, you know, I've done these, I've said it a few times before, I know how to train it, I know how to win on it, so, yeah, I'm very happy with that, and onwards we go, so, very good session so far. So we're going to do some loading, um, so we're just going to start with two sandbags this week. Um, so load, two sandbags down there, come back, do the shield, one, two, so three runs with a shield basically, um, just to try and get the, the old cardio up a bit. Um, really can't wait for this. Be nice if you could just do log all the time. Come on, fast one, Luke. Three, two, one, go. Go on, Luke, go. Come on. Go on, Luke. Come back, come on. Just here. <laughs> He's passing out. What happened, bro? Man got busy. <laughs> One, go! Go, Tom, go! Good, go. Go on, Tom, go! Fast, Tom, fast, 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 fast. Nice, go. Wednesdays are tough, man. But 
only tough people survive in this tough world. What's happening with the fingers? Um, we're strong men, but we're no that strong. So we can't really, it's hard to move with rope, so we're going to get a forklift next week. But it's not in Arnold's, it's in Worlds, so we tried to move it out the fingers, but it is. It's, I think the base plate weighs about 500 kilos, so I'll ask the, the kind folk here at Rosha Engineering if they can um, shift it in position for us, so that'll be cool. Um, but yeah, we're going to do a try and do some type of stone throw, I'm not sure. Maybe sandbag, um, and then next week we can uh, get like a natural stone. We need to get a natural stone. There was going to be three events, but we can't do fingles, so we'll do stone throw and then a set of stones. And then, as Tom would say. That's good. It's, we've only really been doing 50, 60 k sandbags, and for me, that's not a crossover because, like, we we're doing another 40 k on top of that in a competition. So we could probably, let like me and Luke were doing with the 50 k as you've seen in the videos. We were chucking them far. This is so much better. And I think the stone's going to be this kind of shape, so it's nice to get that few in, in the air. And I think these are harder to hold than, and at the stone because there's not that much grip on them. Uh, so it's nice to you know get the balance, get the feel for it above my head and. Throw it, you know. I don't think the throwing is the issue for myself and Luke. It's just again practicing technique. Technique will win this event, um, and kind of long levers as well. So I think a lot of people will try and go for power, but yeah, power is good. But you also need that technique and when to uh, release it. So now, last events at the stones for me. It's kind of I think I'm just going to do one set, like two or three. This isn't very important for me right now. Um, with me, the at the stone, I just need one or two weeks and I'll get back to it. But my Bat's giving me drip and I'm not pushing it for the sake of it, so yeah, I'll maybe just help look and do a set of two or three and see how it is, but even if I do singles, it's fine. I just want to get the exposed in this bat a wee bit, see what happens eh? I don't really want to put tacky on either. <laughs> Same, I don't want to put tacky on. Uh oh, time to get naked! baby. Bring that little bell. <laughs> Last event on events day. Happy ah. top. <laughs> Can I do it for the fifth one? Jeez, what do you need? Oh, <laughs> you got to be ready for it. Come on. Come on. Four. Four. Event session done, much better. The event session, much better week training for us. I think we're getting back into the groove of things. Today was brutal, I mean, we've added another four events on top of what we're meant to be doing. So, you know, Arnold's and Worlds are like four weeks apart afterwards. So, it's nice to get conditioned and feel good, you know. And our lobs flying, dumbbells going good. The Arnold events are going 
as best as they can just now so it's all good and then we're adding these header four events that you've seen slowly every week so good session from both guys now it's just time to chill out this weekend because I am dead and that's a sign of a good week's of training so guys stay safe smile and stay spicy and please don't ever stop ringing that little bell Ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding -a so today I'm going to walk you through the walk first. Hey guys, this is week one of the Art of Stone tutorial by Tom Stoneman. Right guys, today's tutorial is 